oh, TikTok ads don't work for us. We're a B2B business. Well, actually, they can work and they will work if you do it in the right way. Think about it. TikTok is a video platform that commands people's attention, whether that's your Auntie Sue or it's the people and the prospective leads you've got who are ignoring your cold calls, ignoring your emails, and you need to get into them. They're as addicted to TikTok as you are and you can reach them whilst they're scrolling on the loo in between meetings or pretending to look busy updating their Salesforce pipeline on their phone. Past 12 months, TikTok ads have exploded for e-commerce businesses, but there's still not enough knowing how to and properly applying this to the B2B world. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna deep dive into TikTok Ads Manager and show you exactly how to create a B2B audience that can start generating leads for you and your business immediately. We know social media advertising can work for B2B clients. It's all about implementing it correctly. And we've been doing that for the past five years for a number of B2B clients across Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, and now in particular TikTok ads because it's the platform everyone is addicted to. And they've got some really nice targeting capabilities which I'm about to show you on this screen record. So this is what TikTok ads manager looks like. I'm in the ad group and this is the test one to show you guys in this video. At the minute, this number on the top right, you can see fairly broad, 18 to 22 million because it's literally the only things I've ticked are I want it on TikTok, not these other publishers that TikTok ads go to, and it's the United Kingdom. That is the only category that I've selected. You can see here, yep, you can do different locations. Right now, if you're a UK TikTok advertiser, these are the markets you can advertise to. Notice a big one missing is the US. There are ways around this if you need to advertise to a US audience from a UK TikTok ads account. Here you've got the basic demographic data, languages, But here we're going to go down to the important bit, interests and behaviours. You can see it's already recommending me categories from previous campaigns we've worked on in this ad account. And that is the unbelievable thing about TikTok is what it will do is after seeing the first few days of your campaigns, first week of your campaigns, it will start recommending the other categories, the other interests, the other targeting capabilities that you should be adding into your ads campaign, which doesn't really happen on these other platforms. It allows you to discover new interests and audiences that will help your campaign run to the best it can be. So for TikTok ads, you've got interests, video interactions, creator interactions, and hashtag interactions. They are the cold audiences that you can target. So interest, really simply, gonna guide you through. There's a lot of ones for typical advertisers that you'd probably be aware of. If I scroll through, interests are gonna be okay for a B2B advertising perspective if you're included in these business services, right? Office equipment and supplies recruitment job searching, structural engineering, all these business services, right? There are some good ones in there, marketing advertising, great for an agency like us, professional consultation, exhibition service, IT services is a big one for the clients we work with, legal services. But if you're coming from a world where you're a bit more niche than that, that's not gonna cut the mustard, is it? Video interactions, again, you've got similar categories within that. And basically this means you can target people who've watched videos in the last 15 days to do with a topic or different types of engagement. And again, this creator interaction does what it says on the tin. It's if someone's followed or viewed the profile of different types of TikTok accounts. That's all well and good. But if you're actually a B2B business who needs to target a niche audience, here's the gold mine. Hashtag interactions. It's not people who've actually like posted with hashtag whatever on TikTok or hashtag TikTok maybe like this. It's people that whilst they're passively scrolling, mindlessly scrolling, the stuff they actually stop and interact with and watch, what TikToks are those videos using and if you spend any time on tiktok you'll know there's like thousands hundreds of niche audiences in these niche tiktok hashtags and you might not even be aware that the videos you're watching have this but it's a gold mine for any b2b advertisers or any advertisers of any specific industry so what i'm going to do is just play around some hashtags and you can see the different size audience and the effect it has on the audience if i do that so if i was an accountant trying to market to small businesses one thing i probably want to target is So, small business, small business deal. I'll move myself out of the way here. Small business, small business tips, small business help, small business tips. Let's just tick all of them. There's a lot of audiences like this, which are the industry and then top, business talk, business 101. Business hacks, business owner. So if I scroll back up to the interests and just search for accountants, these are people interested in certain content related to accountants. 
you're going to get as well like maybe accountants is a bad example because you've also got people who are accountants accountants degrees trying to get a job in the big four right but it's all around playing around with the interest tab and these hashtags to find out where your audience is going to be if I was a B2B service or software that was targeting anyone who worked in e-commerce, right? That's a pretty easy one to target. That's one we've targeted before as well. E-commerce tips, e-commerce business, e-com, commerce marketing, Shopify, Shopify tips, Shopify sellers, Shopify drop shipping. There might be some agency owners out there wanting to target Shopify stores. Easy way to do it. Or maybe you're going after a type of employee. Like you could be serving a service, a software, or even like consultancy, going after salespeople, right? That's a pretty popular niche in the B2B industry. So simply, we can search for sales. Sales talk, pretty big one. Sales team, sales tips, sales advice, sales training. And all of these, you can play around with how big the audience is. It says it's narrow, but it's because it's in comparison to other campaigns on TikTok. And you can even sort of like narrow down and broaden out these audiences and test different audiences versus each other. Going back to what I said before, the amazing thing with TikTok is once campaigns start running, it will keep feeding you recommendations you can add in, or even it will tell you some of the interests or hashtags that aren't generating interest and aren't applicable for your campaign to remove out. See down here, targeting expansion is worth testing a ad group with that on and that off because all it's going to do as it says here is TikTok's going to go right okay we deliver it to the people that you've selected and predefined as your audience especially if you're going for a very narrow niche one then we'll expand delivery to other users with similar characteristics and look you can see up here recommended other categories it's telling me to go for now an important one that's outside the scope of this video but we'll talk about it another time is custom audiences in TikTok this is where it takes your data and not their data from the TikTok platform and you can target people who visited your website or even you could upload a list of contacts but that targeting people who visit your website is a goldmine for B2B businesses because if they're on your B2B weird boring businesses website the contact us page the about us page the pricing page they're not doing it for a laugh they're doing it because they're interested and imagine if you could just simply show a video a bit like this one explaining what you do Two people on TikTok that have been on your website the last 30, 60 days and get them to swipe up and book in a call. How many more people are you going to win this month compared to last month and the month before? That's why it's a no-brainer to start doing retargeting advertising, not just on TikTok, you can do this across Facebook and Instagram, and you can do this on YouTube as well. And it's one of the biggest wins we see for B2B clients straight away because, like I say, there's not a flood of traffic coming to your website who aren't already in the market for what you're after. And it helps you stand out versus five to six other competitors they've just randomly googled one time and have got open tab and they're yet to make a decision so you're being proactive and putting the content in front of them helping them come close to the decision but also you're going to be more trusted they're going to be more aware of you versus all those other competitors that they've forgotten about already one of the other main ways that you can effectively target your b2b audience with tiktok is actually within the content itself tiktok straight away is if people aren't interested they scroll off they scroll off so you want to make sure that in the first frame, the first few seconds with text on the screen and the content you're talking about is you're speaking and narrowing down the audience straight away. You want it to be effective and efficient that if someone doesn't give a shit about your video, they'll know straight away it can scroll past. But the people that do and the people that are like, oh, you're using the actual content and as an effective way to target your audience. This is one of the major changes that TikTok has really brought to the advertising market is you're filtering out the people who don't care and you're using these amazing video algorithms to do a lot of the targeting for you by who is interested in your content. A lot of the video ads we use for ourselves and for our B2B clients specifically calls out the exact buyer they care about and give a shit about in that first few seconds of the video so anyone else that's not in that audience can get on with their life. And sometimes because the audience and the market and the industry is that niche, they'll be like, oh my God, huh. I didn't know there was any TikToks around this sort of thing. So like I say, if you're a B2B business, start looking at TikTok ads and see if it can rival your Google ad, LinkedIn ad, Facebook ad performance. If you just stumbled across this video and your B2B business has never done any form of social media advertising and you want someone to hold your hand and let's say probably have a higher likelihood of getting yourself results from that budget initially, then go to www.adsforb2b.com, fill out the form there. We can jump on a call and we can see if you're the right fit to work with us and basically build out an action plan for you and your business, how to get more leads more often. Cheers. Bye.